This is Sasha for NetbookNews.com. We are still at the IDF, right at the show floor. And as you can see, that's the Canonical booth. And I just met Jerome Young over here from Canonical. And Jerome, um, you're going to introduce us uh, your mobile and Ubuntu portfolio. Yeah, so we have a, we're introducing today our uh, Ubuntu mobile and Remix. Um, but to kind of take you through a little bit of the evolution of things, as everybody knows, um, we have Ubuntu Netbook Remix. And so what we're showing today, we're not giving up on Ubuntu Netbook Remix, but we're actually uh, going to keep this going. Uh, this is the new version of Ubuntu Netbook Remix in 9.10 that will be coming out next month. Uh, as you can see, much slicker. Don't have two things on the side. You know, just have one slick interface. Very uh, stylish. Right. But very beautiful and, and very slick. So I think yeah, it feels pretty one. snappy, right? Yes, very snappy. And I like the way that you got rid of the column on the right. Yes. I think it was a little bit too much. There was a lot of folks who had complaints about that. So now the column on <laughs> the right has now just become one tab. Great, so it wasn't the only one. Yes. <laughs> Great. So you see, good. Yeah, so as you can see with uh, Ubuntu Netbook Remix, unlike the desktop, we can deliver another experience on top of the Ubuntu base okay. right there. So if you keep that mindset, you can then move over to the Ubuntu Mobile Remix, which is something that we work closely with Intel to deliver. And mainly with Mobile, just to give an understanding, is Mobile is mainly the UI as well as a set of standards given by Intel to you know deliver a distribution with the Mobile UI. Right. So, so it just got announced yesterday that you're shipping it now with a Dell uh, the Mini 10V, right? Yes. So Dell shipping a developer edition. Right. Uh, Mobile is still you know in active development, and uh, what Dell's hoping. Uh, for is developers to join the mobile community and help to better define how this should be for consumers. Just to kind of give you a run through of the UI, basically this is your home screen. Yeah. Unfortunately we don't have internet connectivity so um, we can show you, but basically you'd have your appointments uh, and in this, uh, in this section you could have a to-do list, maybe new emails that you'd get, whatnot. Uh, in this section right here in the middle uh, you have your recently used media, such as it could even be web pages as well that'll be there. Uh, as well here on the side you would have your Twitter feeds or RSS yeah, feeds that yeah. would show up on the side here to just kind of move along here. Uh, people, uh, as another case, is you would have uh, people in your IM clients such as right. uh, AIM, GTalk, what have you. And so you could see their status instantly, very integrated into the UI. Nice. Uh, what Intel has also done um, it, with Mobile is they've made a new web browser and it's not completely new. It's actually based on WebKit. So it's not anything revolutionary, anything like that. But one of the things I can kind of show you um, that they've kind of done, so this is the web browser, unfortunately, not connected to the internet. But what they tried to do is, one, have big buttons, so for right. actual for touch screens, as well as visual tabs. So you now have tabs. And we just don't have internet connection, but you'd see Amazon.com at the bottom right, or, or right. whatnot. So, uh, moving on, you then have the mobile media player, which is also kind of a big consumer of media, so you can easily view your pictures. Let's see. Go. And it's a very nice present, you know, way to present your pictures and, and go around. But one of the key things here is in this demo is uh, you can also uh, categorize them. So you can slip around. This is unfortunately in this demo we only have one category. Yeah. Uh, but we'll just go to images here. And you can then take the different categories, expand oh, them, there you expand go. them even more, and even grow the size of them to show through. Or, let's say I'm in this category and I only want to see pictures of the beach, I then go into the search bar right. and I can just show, oh, these are pictures right. of the beach. So, very cool. And you can also bookmark that search as well, which okay. is kind of cool. And the same for, you know, consuming videos. Yeah. Uh, it has the same set of categories that can expand. Um, just in this, this demo, um, and since it's alpha, some of the thumbnails didn't show up for some of the videos, yeah. but for this one it shows up and you see it easily, you know, getting to your media. Uh, you have a little pasteboard, basically think of this as like quick notes you can put in yeah. into your system. And one of the key things about mobile though is unlike UNR or even Windows or uh, a, a Ubuntu desktop is there's no longer a concept of the taskbar, which is something that people have been used to pretty much since the days of Windows 95. Uh, but now what Moblin has done is they've changed this into Zone. So we'll open up um, a word processor for instance. Actually, this one, since we've been screwing around, it may do something different. Yes, it will. Let's open up another application here. Um, the dictionary, mm -hmm. for instance. What it'll do is it'll actually, and as you can see here, it's opening it 
up the dictionary and it's whole, a whole other zone. Right. So you no longer have a concept of taskbars, you have zones. And you can see in this first zone, as I've shown before, it has three applications, but I may not want that in that zone. <coughs> I can drag it into the second zone or open up a whole new zone for it. Yeah. So it gives you kind of a good idea of where things are going. And, and the key here is with these small netbook screens, you're not going to want to have the same type of desktop experience. So I then go to this zone. I, I then go back to our, our internet experience. And then you know, go to this zone, and I'm right back in the open office. Uh, some of the other things are uh, with Moblin as well is uh, uh, Intel has their own um, network manager. They call it connection yeah. manager. Yeah. Uh, so you have things like Wi-Fi, wired, 3G, and WiMAX support uh, built in, uh, as well as you can see the volume you know manager is different than you know what Ubuntu would have, as well as your power manager right here. So that's kind of a general walkthrough. Of of it. And of course, your applications, all your internet applications are there. And of course, with Ubuntu, right. you still have access to all the, your your favorite Ubuntu apps. And Synaptic is, you know, right in here. So I know a lot of people were concerned that, you know, even though it's Ubuntu, mobile and Ubuntu Remix, you wouldn't have all the apps. But you have Synaptic Package Manager right there to, right. to get those Ubuntu apps. Looking great. Looking great. So it's uh, it, it, it's shipping uh, already on the Dell Mini 10V, I think, since yesterday. Yes, I believe. It was yes, no. It's today. Today. Oh, it's the today. They, they, I, I think it's two ninety nine, or starting at two ninety nine, uh, which is definitely an awesome price for a great netbook combined with uh, with Moblin, uh, with a, a Ubuntu Moblin, and yeah, looks put, looks pretty good. And so this is uh, the canonical booth at the IDF two thousand nine.